So Trevor Bauer says uh, he's got a solution for people who are hitting on his fastball. He wants himself to throw more fastballs underneath the people's chins so they'll stop diving over the plate. Maybe if uh, I drill a couple of them, of those people, uh, if I drill a couple of those people in the ribs with fastballs, they'll stop leaning out over the plate. I don't know. When guys are hitting, uh, getting hits off 97 mile an hour fastballs, eight inches off the plate away, and uh, it tells you something. We'll make an adjustment. Someone's going to be on the bad end of that in the future, I guess. But it's what needs to happen. Well, first of all, he already leads. He already leads the league, the majors in hitting batters with 13. Chris Sale is next with 10, and Spencer Trumbull, uh, Turnbull with nine. Brad Keller with nine. Uh, Tanner Work, uh, Cincinnati with eight, and Julio Teheran with uh, eight also. So he's putting everybody on warning. He's going to throw at you, which is not a smart thing to do because. If he throws at people, immediately there's, there's a little bit of uh, uh, thought put into it. Ah, bless. <laughs> uh, you know, it, uh, I'm so tired of this guy. And yet, as a member of the media, it's I've always said I want guys to speak up. Go ahead, say stuff. I don't want Bauer to be quiet. But, you know, if he thinks that that is the reason he's getting hit around, okay, great. You know, you're going to get your teammates in trouble. You're going to start something on purpose. Now well, they know. You can go inside without going well, there to the you go. somebody's That's head. That's all that you, you hit it, Les. That's all he had to say. I need to do a better job of pitching in off the plate. You don't have to mention anything about hitting anybody. No, hitting but is now, a magic word. That quote will be all over the place. And that'll be in the umpire's room, and, too. And the umpires uh, may look at a pitch and say, all right, it, he threw it inside. That's one thing. Now, if there's intent, who knows what they'll do? Absolutely. You don't want to give anyone written or verbal proof of your intentions. Yeah, and the Indians can't afford to have him throw, tossed out, suspended. No, especially when they want to trade him. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sorry Supposedly. you can't trade him. He's halfway through his suspension. I mean, we'll see, but I, I don't know. He, if Bauer can bring a legitimate stick in here, a, le a major league stick plus a couple of minor league sticks, I, I look into making the deal. I even do. if you're, but you can't uh, just give them away. Even Not, if you're on the run and closing in on Minnesota, yeah, you, you would I mean, shake up things. I get it. You, you, the conventional wisdom is you need Bauer to, to get where you want to go, but if you could beef up that offense instantaneously with a Bauer trade. I definitely consider it. Sure, I mean, and I'm not saying it because he's struggling right now. I'm saying it because the Indians were thinking about that last winter when he wasn't struggling. He was on the market. It's true. Well, somebody's got to believe that he will give them a division title. Well, somebody has to believe that, and if they do believe it, they will give up something. Yeah, I mean, and obviously the Yankees have been mentioned as a potential suitor. I would love for the Indians to pry Clint Frazier loose, get him out back here. I know he's had issues in the clubhouse, but I love the game. He's still young. Among other guys, okay, among several other guys, it's Bauer for four or five players to I mean, make. look at the difference when they put Mercado in, how that changed the entire offense. You're talking about one more guy can change it again. And obviously and Bobby, they're hoping Bobby, Bobby Bradley could yeah. – and they, I was going to, going to mention him. Everybody's screaming for him, just like you know the second-string quarterback who carries the uh, uh, clipboard around. Uh, 